Hello everyone, good morning. I wish you guys are doing really well. Um, my name is Melissa Rodriguez and I'm a medical student studying in Florida. And today's video is going to be about the medical school resources, apps, and things I'm using as a first year medical student. I know I only have three weeks of medical school, but I'm gonna show you the resources that are working for me. I know I have a lot to learn and new things to add, but up to now, this is what I'm using, this is what is working for me. So if you find this helpful or interesting, just make sure to keep watching. on the first resource that I always use is my class lectures this should as a first year medical student I think should be your first first resource and after that you can use all this different stuff that I'm going to show you right but the main focus is your class lectures because most of the schools do those exams or focus those questions on those uh, class lectures you're going to receive from the experts that are in your school now if you need further explanations or like question sets extra practice this is what i will use first is anki i'm gonna show a little expert here of how i use it and the basic organization that i have but i think it's a great great resource for space learn space repetition learning and it forces you to keep practicing never leave things that you learned uh, in the beginning for the last minute so if you keep doing your cards every day i think it works for now since i have been a little bit behind with my anki i i am not able to do the questions every day but starting from monday i'm going to be doing questions every day in the morning i just have to add them on that specific day uh, that the lecture is taught in order to have all the questions ready to go but i did use it a lot for anatomy with um the tool that says occlusion and for the memorization type things that you have to memorize you don't really have a mnemonic for it and you really need to memorize so for those is really helpful i can make a video about how i use anki but i'm sure there's a lot of videos in youtube that will show you better than i can so let me know if you want that um next is anatomy bootcamp so i heard about this resource through youtube as well and i think it's a great great resource i will also put an image here um but they're adding new parts of the body every month or so and i think they do a great job on on giving you practice they give you questions and you can basically look through videos that they have that make anatomy 10 times easier um because you know it shows it shows the cadaver pictures and then the the cartoon pictures so that you can really connect those um dots and really understand uh, anatomy better i think and i'll be using that for the rest of the semester because we're doing anatomy from neck down everything so that i think it will be a great um extra resource that i will be using next is my friend first aid i i have heard a lot of different opinions about it like how we shouldn't use it until second year or whatever i think it's useful because everything that you cover like for example the topics that we cover in pvl or are given cases about i can look up a specific piece of information here and i feel like i'm preparing for boards even though i'm not i'm getting th that information engraved and i know what's most important the same with my lectures i look at the specific sections that that are related to my lecture and this is the first half of the or you can find information throughout the book that may relate to one of your cases in pvl or one of of your lectures so i think it's a great great resource it's like a um a summary of all of these high geo facts that you need to know for the step one boards in the united states so yeah next is my netters anatomy flashcards i use this also along with the bootcamp anatomy bootcamp um, as extra practice and before quizzes and things like that i will go ahead and get the piece of flashcards that pertain to that um, 
that lecture that we're covering and I will basically go through them. And these are so, so, so good. Like I will show you just one so you guys can see. They give you the picture and then in the back, they don't, they don't only give you the name of the, of the different structures, but they give you an, an explanation. And what my teacher says that we had to read in order to understand the back of information, but these cards really work on giving you background information about those structures so you don't have to read like a whole book about it i think anatomy is more about about knowing right and you can use mnemonics and things like that and i think this is a great resource for that next is the up-to-date website for anything that is website or apps i'll put a little bit um a little um window here that shows you a little bit of how i do it but up to date is a great 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 resource i think all of the medical students and doctors should be using it because it's updated often it has good citations it has all of the information compiled into one article so you don't have to look 300 places to get the information i think it has worked a lot for me for my pvl like i was saying up to date is really good for the pvl cases because they basically give you a case and um for those schools that have pvl of course it's problem-based learning and they give you a case that you have to find information about and it's either like management of the disease, the biochemistry behind it, up to date has really good explanations for that. And if your school gives it to you for free, perfect. But if not, I think it's a good resource to, um, you know, uh, spend on. Um, some medical, uh, <laughs> medical content related channels that I watch, YouTube is a great, great, great resource because it's free <laughs> and it gives you a lot of videos that sometimes explain better things better than your lectures so if you if it's a really complicated um idea or pathway you might be better uh, using a youtube video in order to explain yourself and um for example the the clotting cascade i was looking the other day they have really good videos on YouTube. I will mention some of my favorite medical uh, related channels here. So I'm, I will put the link here. So one is Medicosis Perfectionalis. He has a really funny way of teaching and awesome. I will not go further on the on each channel, but just know that I watch all of them. This is our, our my most watched uh, medical channel. So there's a lot of them. And I have a playlist uh, that is called medical school resources and I save all of the videos that are related to my lectures in that in that playlist so that I can watch them later if if I can't in that specific moment. Osmosis is awesome. Um, I think they have a membership too. I don't pay for it yet but I might in the future because they have really good videos. Cognitionis. That's awesome. Um, mad medicine. Dirty medicine. Cognitionis gives you like high yield facts and it, he emphasizes a lot on this book. So it's really good. I love it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's for medical school related YouTube channels. And there's a lot of them. I just don't have them here, but you can find really good information on YouTube for free. Next resource that I cannot live without is my planner. Um, I have gotten a couple of you asking me where it is from. I have it linked on my one week before medical school video. It's the link, but I can put it in this video as well. And this planner I love because it gives you the daily, I'll find you a specific day. It gives you the daily breakdown. So this is one of my days. <laughs> Don't just ignore it, but it's the, the days are full. So Basically, it gives you your day from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. And it gives you a row when you, where you can put all your to-do list and things. I love this one um, because it gives me both the calendar view like that, but it also gives me a specific page for each day so that I know what to do. And each, I, I usually do it on Fridays, but I recommend to do it on Sunday. Each Friday or Sunday, you will go through your through your planner and plan your whole week and then you will feel so much better, I promise you. Because now you know what to expect and you're not like, I have 3,000 things to do, especially as a medical student and I don't have time to, so that helps a lot. Next, I didn't want to skip over this because I'm a little old school too, so I use normal notebooks and I have these three for now. I probably need more as the year progresses, but I use just notebooks and random different colorful pens and for my planner as well, because 
even if you're never gonna read those notes anymore anymore i usually do it for when i'm reviewing anki or when i remember reviewing a specific case for pbl why because in, as you write things up it sticks so if you're not doing it for the purpose of going back to those notes but for the purpose of actively doing the note taking and i do it also for when i'm doing my patient uh interactions my standardized patient interactions to copy notes on what i should do better because the faculty usually gives us feedback and i can write it down um, it's better than just writing it down in the computer but yeah i also use um the note <laughs> the sticky notes because i like to do like daily and to-do list apart from my normal planner every afternoon is when I have my normal independent study time so I'm left with like what am I gonna do first I have 3,000 things to do but what am I gonna do first so I copy all these things probably four or five things that I have to do for that afternoon and I check it the act of checking it just motivates me even more to continue working I also have like a normal notebook a little um, just journal type of thing where I, I use it mostly for, uh, we have some classes that are more like the science of clinical practice, which will teach us like controversial topics. And we talk about things like racism, cultural competency, implicit bias, things like that. And all the, um, the aspects that I get or, or the takeaways, I usually copy it here. And I use this notebook also for my YouTube videos to plan out stuff for you guys. So yeah. And then next, resource that I want to um, share is this atlas. It's called a photographic atlas from anatomy and physiology, Herbert Heisler. And I had it from my undergraduate anatomy class, but I kept it and it, had, it really applies to my anatomy that I'm learning now. So it's really, really good. And it has cadaver pictures, cartoon pictures, histology pictures, everything. I love it. Um, so that one, I, I, I have not used it much but I plan to use it, especially this week that I, that I have um, an exam coming up for histology. It has a lot of histology pictures that I may use. And lastly, I wanted to mention some of the resources that I have not used yet, because like I said, I only have three weeks in medical school, but these resources are really recommended within the medical school YouTube community, and I plan to try them out as, as things come upon. I don't want to overwhelm myself with resources, but these are other really popular ones. Patoma, that's a program that you pay a subscription. Sketchy Medical, which includes a lot of microbiology and pharmacology and boards and beyond. So I joined, I recently joined the American Medical Association. This is a national organization and they give you boards and beyond for free as part of your subscription. So I might use that as well as just extra videos to, um, to watch and, and if I don't understand something in the specific and I can't find it on YouTube, I might use that. So yeah, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of these things that I'm using as of now. I'm going to make a video also about my more uh, technological stuff that I use, like my MacBook Pro, my iPad, how I use my noise canceling headphones, all of these, and I can compare because I have different um, types and let me know if you want to see those videos um, in the meantime you can watch my other videos that I have on my channel I have blogs and I have a pre-med um, playlist where I show you everything about how to get into medical school thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video